Hey YouTube, Zach here with Savage Traveling today. Um, I'm down here in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I'm here to donate stem cells to my father who's been diagnosed with MDS, which is myelodysplastic disorder, something like that. But uh, it's where you stop making red blood cells and then in later stages can be uh, it can turn into leukemia. So uh, in hopes of averting all that and getting, you know, extending his quality and length of life, uh, I'm going to donate my stem cells to him. I was his, I was a match. Uh, uh, initially, I, we were sent little uh, packages of vials to go and have blood draw. Me and my sisters were. And uh, we all three were matches. And, uh, like, I, they called me first. I decided that I was going to be, you know, they decided, I don't know, but I, I, you know, and I, and then, uh, me and my dad came down here to Nashville and, uh, we, I gave about 15 or 20 more vials of blood a couple, maybe a month ago. And then I gave five more like last week. And then today is when I start where the, the collection process, well, not necessarily the work up to the collection process happens is, a uh, where, uh, each day I get two shots in the stomach about right here uh, through almost like a, uh, a needle that's like a, uh, a diabetic insulin shot. It's kind of like that, but not exactly. But I get two of those in the stomach for four days in a row. And that the drug is called Phil Grastim, I believe. But uh it stimulates your bone marrow or works with your bone marrow to create more white blood cells, red blood cells, no stem cells. <laughs> and, uh, the, you know, I'll be, I'll overload on stem cells. Well, not overload, but, uh, in the process of that, uh, I can have pain, joint pain and bone pain. They told me, and they wrote me prescriptions for Claritin and Tramadol. Like Claritin can, is known to help with the pain. And if that doesn't work, they, you know, they also prescribe Tramadol. So if you really have bone pain, but today the outpatient pharmacy was closed at the VA, so I couldn't get any of that after I got my two belly shots. So we're hoping that the pain isn't too crazy today. I do have a little like sore here, probably just the injection sites. I don't know, you know, I'm not too bad yet. So uh, I'll update you on that in the next, you know, as the next four and five days go, go down, because uh, that's what this vlog is, is just every day I'm gonna, you know, talk a little bit about the experience of donating the stem cells so you know somebody wants to know maybe they'll find this video and then they can see my experience because i'm doing it here now and we're going to video it so um anyways i don't think i was really have much more to say today like i said if i have any weird pains like i'll definitely check in and then if not i'll just check in before i get my shots tomorrow and then we'll just go from there guys so uh, This is the morning of day two of stomach shots for stem cell production and uh, you know harvesting here later in the week. So this is the morning of day two. I just wanted to talk about uh, you know before I went and got round two of shots. I want to talk about round one and the night afterwards. So um, I ended up being really sore, like I could feel my bone pain like all night long. I, I got up at 4.30 this morning because I just was, I couldn't sleep anymore. Took a shower, laid back down, got a little more sleep. Don't feel as achy now, you know, 24 hours after the first shot. I walked a bunch yesterday too, which I probably shouldn't have done, but like I said, no harm, no foul. I don't feel horrible or anything. Maybe a little more sore than I sh could have been, but no big deal. So. I'll get back with you guys after I do day two shots and uh, let's we'll talk a little bit more then, okay? Hey YouTube, Zach here back again on day two of stem cell uh, donation procedure. Uh, I woke up today at like 4.30 in the morning, sore as a mother, it's like sore as sore. And uh, I was, you know, I, I got up, took a shower, that kind of helped. And then I think I went back to sleep for like an hour or two before I had to get up and go back for you know, round two, day two of shots. So I did that. Uh, I was pretty sore. Like I said, I got my prescriptions filled, uh, tramadol and Claritin. Cause Claritin helps with the pain. And so is tramadol obviously, cause it's like a painkiller, but, uh, they do help some. Um, 
Now, am I 100% pain-free and ache-free? By no means, but it's definitely a lot better than yesterday. And I think I'll hopefully sleep better. Uh, but uh, uh, looking forward tomorrow to day three. Uh, be two more shots, and then and then day four, which will be Thursday, I'll have two more shots, and then they will put a line in me and start to collect if my levels are high, if my stem cell count is high enough. So they'll you know they'll do a lab, draw some blood, and then. You know, if not, I'll get another round of shots Thursday evening. But let's hope we don't have to do a, f a fifth round. So uh, I'll get back with you guys tomorrow and uh, let you know how day three goes and how I, you know, how sore I am throughout the night and stuff. So you know, because that could always change once I lay down. So uh, we're we're hoping for a good night's sleep. See ya. Hey guys, I'm just sitting here at some video and uh, I was just wanted to say like how my lower back it feels like it's like contracting and pulsating like if I set certain ways from this uh, what's it called Phil Grostum Phil Grastum whatever you know this the one that stimulates the stem cells uh, to grow more uh, but I can it's it's a strange sensation I've never uh, felt before so I just want to you know check in with you like I was just sitting here editing video a walk I the walk I took yesterday that was way too long and uh, and I, I tried to walk down to the smoothie shop just a minute ago they were closed or whatever I don't know what was or maybe they were just doing a drive-up service this late at night but uh, I'm walking funny like uh, <laughs> I'm stiff and it's uh, like my femurs the big bones like that's what some of the guys said that uh, we talked to me and dad had talked to is like the big bones and like just different joints, back of my neck and stuff is like real stiff and weird feeling. And like out in the car, I'd coughed and I could feel it all from my neck, like all the way down into my back. And I'm like, oh. So yeah, it's an interesting sensation. Uh, Phil Grostum, two shots in the belly. Okay, but tomorrow, day three, I'll see you guys then. Hey YouTube, this is day three of stem cell donation procedure. Uh, it's late day three I had my shots this morning and basically I slept all day I had like three sleep sessions of like four four and three hours and like it's now like 11 o'clock at night I have to be up at 6 a.m. because I have to be at the VA at 7 30 to get my last two shots hopefully and then get my line placed in and then they will collect we're hoping that happens tomorrow. If not, it'll happen Friday if my stem cell count isn't high enough. But uh, they were telling me today or yesterday that since I'm young and I'm healthy, uh, usually a young and healthy person has no problem boosting the stem cells with the uh, with the shots. And um, so hopefully that all goes down in the morning. And um, but I'll definitely let you know about that and uh, go over the whole collection procedure because I don't really know what's going on there other than they're going to put a line in here and they're going to take it out of my arm and put it back in through my neck or vice versa take it out through my neck and put it back through my arm because all they do is run the blood through a machine that separates the stem cells and then they put you know the rest of the stuff back in me and they take the stem cells and give them to the to my father so anyways like I said yeah I mean other than just Sore. I've been sore. My big bones, femurs, the joints, hips, lower back, upper back, neck. Same stuff I've been talking about. It's just a little more intense today. And like I slept a bunch. And I'm kind of revved up now. And it's kind of a bummer because it is like 11 o'clock at night. And I have to be up at 6 a.m. So hopefully I get some rest. But if I don't, I got plenty today. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, it's late. I might have to do a few more things before. I want to try to shave. Maybe I'll shave before I do this tomorrow. I don't know. But. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you on day four, and uh, maybe we'll get some stem cells donated <laughs> tomorrow. All right, guys, peace. Okay, uh, welcome back, guys. Um, it's a little past day four here. Uh, it's about two weeks and a, two days after day four. Uh, I got up that morning, went in, got my shots, went down. They put um, a line in my neck which is just a quick surgical procedure. You know, they put like a, I guess it's like a catheter. I really don't know, but it, you know, where they can draw blood and put blood in and take blood out pretty easily. So I, that was all went pretty smooth. You know, I'd slept good the night before, even after sleeping all of day three, pretty much. I still slept then, you know, day three night and got good rest into day four morning. 
Uh, you know, I went in there. They gave me the two shots. They drew some blood, I think. You know, I, uh, that might have been... Yeah, I think they did draw more blood, and then, then I got the line. But after the line... Uh, I wasn't aching as bad. I wasn't a sore. That was uh, pretty nice. Uh, I did. Re I do remember noticing that that I'd finally like, even with day four shots, I still wasn't very. Or you know, I, the whole body soreness had kind of eased off. So that was cool. Or the pills. This is the prescription pills are you know working full course. <laughs> but um, shortly thereafter, getting the line put in, I went to a little room that uh, with a chair and a, like a you know like a machine that spins the blood, and uh, they hooked me into the machine with the uh, the line or the line pick whatever it's called. I don't remember now. <laughs> but uh, I was there for like three and a half hours. At first, they you know they took they take uh, what was it That's, uh, plasma. They, uh, they separate a little bit of plasma into a bag and then because uh, they use it for the donor or the, uh, the recipient. They need to mix it in with the stem cells or something, and it helps it bind. I don't, don't quote me on any of that, but they need plasma. So I have you know, a few minutes of plasma collection, you know, the, the, my stuff running into the machine and it's spinning out. Uh, they you know, did some settings on the machine, did some more calculations and, you know, came up that I needed to sit there for three and a half hours uh, and let the machine run and collect stem cells. So uh, that happened. I have a picture of me doing stem cell or in the chair right here. I'll put it up so you can see what that kind of looks like and see what the stem cells look like because they're it's different than just plasma or blood or whatever, you know. But uh, three and a half hours later, it went smoothly. No problems, no pain, nothing like that. Uh, you know, the collection process. Uh Got done collecting, I guess. Uh, to for a recipient to get them, they need like two million plus stem cells in a collection, I guess, in a bag. You know, once they collect, mine had like two point or five million some, so there was plenty of healthy stem cells for the recipient to you know hopefully grow. We're still waiting. You know, we don't know yet. It's only been two weeks. It still takes a little time before they can before they'll be able to tell. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Where, where was I at? But yeah, there was 5 million stem cells, uh, you know, and they needed two. So that was a good, you know, that's good to know. They, uh, it was a good, healthy bag of stem cells I was able to give him and stuff. So, uh, uh, after that, uh, they drew blood. They took a, they did labs on me again to see, to check my platelets to make sure like my platelet levels returned up enough where they didn't have to give me platelets because like it, some people it can take their platelets from them and they don't like return as fast as they need to I guess in a healthy the healthy donor but anyways I didn't need to do that I just sat out there and sat back there and hung out with my dad well it had been I don't know I don't remember exactly what happened there but anyways, <laughs> the worst part of the whole procedure was when they took the line out here. When uh, she, she, uh, you know, it was later in the afternoon after like my labs came back and they, 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 uh, well, maybe my dad, they knew they didn't need to retrieve any more stem cells for me. So it was my labs or whatever, the stem cells lab or whatever. Uh, they, re you know, then they could take my line out because they didn't want to take it out until they knew they had enough of what they needed. So, uh. We did that, and the nurse practitioner, she, like, pressed on it, and was like, ah! And I about passed out. Like, I got all watery, and I was like, ah! And it was crazy. Yeah, I never felt like that before. And um, overall, like, getting the line out at the very end was the worst part of the whole thing. Like, the shots in the stomach, yeah, they were, like, uncomfortable or whatever, but I, I didn't mind them so much, you know. It was, uh, this was the, it was, like, a lot of pressure. And I can't remember what the other nurse called it. She saw she called it some kind of reaction, man. I wish I would have wrote it down because it would have been a good addition to the video. But uh, yeah, overall, I wouldn't. I would do it again. I swear, I wanted to get to that point, you know, to the you know the conclusion wrap up of this video because like the procedure, it's pretty, you know, it's not that bad. Anybody that wants to help somebody, 
I wouldn't, you know, I, you shouldn't say no because of the procedure because it's not that bad. Like, it's the person that you're helping is going through probably way worse. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind if you're looking at this video to find, you know, if you would want to help somebody out this way because it's really not that bad. And I don't know. I, I The pressure I felt from her she, before she even started pulling, I felt it. So I could have maybe said, hey, like, move your hand this way. And maybe it wouldn't have been so bad. but uh, Or maybe it just feels like that for everybody because like literally it was a line down into you you know what i mean or i don't know how far it goes down in just to so it gets you know your good you know a good place to draw blood and so that's my thing is that's the uh, collection part was the or like the collection wasn't so bad you know the shots in the belly weren't so bad and then uh doing the procedure sitting there on the machine and let the machine run and do its separation and then put back whatever it puts back in me, the rest of the blood. And uh, But really, though, yeah, the line came out. I didn't pass out. I just sat there for a few minutes. They gave me some crackers and some water so I could, you know, try to get a hold of, get a grip, you know what I mean? And uh, five, ten minutes later, I, you know, I was okay. And then they let me, they made, they still made me sit there for 15 minutes or something like that. Just, I think that was out of, out of protocol or whatnot. Damn, I'm shaking the heck out of this camera today. But, uh. You know, and after that was done, I got up and went about my day. And the next day I got up and I drove six hours home. So, like, yeah, it's not it's not a, a, an invasive procedure per se. Uh, it's a little bit, but it's not like, like I said, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Don't don't let the, like, your, the, the donor process scare you into not being a donor because it's not that bad. But that's all I got to say about that, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope if you were looking for information about being a stem cell donor, you found it, you know, because it's kind of a firsthand account, you know. I may have been a few weeks since the actual procedure to finish this video up, but I forgot about it. And then when I remembered, I was like, I didn't feel like I was ready to do that. But since I'm all healed up now and like this, you know, no, no bad after effects, I feel nothing. You know, I, nothing, I'm not hurt, you know, nothing's, you know, nothing's, I don't feel like anything's missing, you know, <laughs> it's not that bad is all I'm going to say. Cause like, depending on where you'd go to get it, they don't really, the VA, I really didn't know what the heck I was doing. And maybe that was a lot on, I should have asked, but Hey, <laughs> you know, all right. Well, thanks for watching. And, uh, if you like traveling videos, please like, and subscribe because I do that when I can, so peace.